you guys, it's Peter, and welcome to my channel, Peter Likes Book. Today, we're gonna do something completely different. Um, we're gonna read comments on my videos today, and let me explain what happened. Um, so, last night, I was scrolling through my comments. Now, I know a lot of you guys leave comments, and you see that I almost never respond to them which we'll explain in just a second, which will, I'm talking like I'm a third person, which I'll explain in just a second. And um, so anyway, I was reading through my comments last night and Glenn Shaw said to me, I love you, but you never ans answer back to people's comments. So dot, dot, dot. And you know, it's interesting because I don't know why, but it was like this comment like really stood out to me and I felt really bad. And let me tell you why. I have four channels, which I explained in my response to him. Um, I have this channel, I have um, a main channel where I do like drama and funny shtick. On that channel, my videos get four to a, 400 to 1,000 comments a video. Um, and then this video, this channel gets a lot of video comments. I have a daily vlog that probably gets 50 to 100 comments a day. And then I have a weight loss channel. I lost 11.6 pounds. Um, I have a weight loss channel called My So-Called Healthy Life. All of these channels are listed below or off of my channel. If you want to go check them out, please do. Please subscribe and please like this video if you like it. So anyway, um, I just put that. I never say that in my videos, so I'm like, screw it. I'm saying it today. But anyway, um, it's really hard for me to respond to all the comments. So I tell people I can either do the comments or I can do social media. So I almost always, always, always respond through Twitter and Snapchat and Instagram. So if you really wanna get a hold of me, like that's a great way. But I do wanna say I read every comment that I get. And what made me sad about this comment was that I started my entire YouTube career on, career? Oh girl, that sounded so arrogant, didn't it? I started my whole experience on YouTube, my journey, my dude with a camera experience, um, on YouTube, on BookTube. And I am a die hard lover of BookTube, okay? Um, I didn't know what it was even two years ago, and I came on a year ago, May, and I'm like, I love it. I just like, every time I find a new BookTuber, I follow them, I subscribe to them, I just, I love BookTube so much. So for me, it's like, I don't wanna feel like I'm letting people down. I want you to know, I read every comment. So today I thought, okay, so anyway, I wanna tell you, I responded to Glenn Shaw, and I said, sorry, I have four channels, so it's hard for me to keep up with responding to more than five. And I was like, if I leave this comment, I don't want it to come across as arrogant. 500 to 1,000 comments a day, but I do my best to respond to social media. I'll try better with comments. And I say that a lot, that like I'm gonna to try to do better with comments, and then it's like a week later, and I'm like, baby, you, ain't, you haven't responded to one comment. Um, and a lot of times, like I'll sit outside and I'll just like go through the comments, and like when I'm reading them, I'll respond, but I feel, you guys, I feel bad. I don't know what else to say. It's just really a lot to keep up with and film four videos a day. So, and that's my fault. You know, I'm the one that chooses to do that. I love that you guys choose to watch my content, my videos, because I'm a dude with a camera. Um, I really appreciate that you guys watch my videos. It means a lot to me. It really does. Um, you know, when I got on BookTube, I didn't think 20 people would watch my videos. Now I'm getting, you know, upwards of 800 to 1,000 people a day. So it means a lot to me. Um, but I thought, okay, so then he said to me back, well, I guess I shouldn't assume it's a he. Glenn Shaw said back to me, well, you just made my day with a red heart. So I thought, screw it. Let's just get on here. And I want people to know that you mean a lot to me. So I am just going to go through the comments and read the comments from the last, like, I don't know, 24 hours or I don't know how many comments I can get through in the next, whatever, 15 minutes, 10 minutes. We'll see how long this goes. Um, on your creator app, because I'm a creator, dude with a camera. I've like worn that statement out. Anyway, on, on your creator app for YouTube, it, you can go in and see all your comments as like the newest one. So it doesn't, isn't necessarily to the certain video. It'll show you what video it's on, but it could be from a video six months ago, if that makes sense. So anyway, I'm just gonna read through these. 21 minutes ago, Maddie Grimes, on my fall, I don't do book TBRs, TBR said. Peter, I don't think you have a Southern accent. I'm also from Texas, so I don't think my opinion really says a lot. Well, <laughs> Maddie, I love y'all down there in Texas, so I don't really know what else to say to that. <laughs> Maddie comments on all my videos, so thank you, Maddie. French Lafayette said, Wonder is one of my all-time faves. It's so cute. Can't wait for the movie. Um, David Diggs is playing in it. I am currently reading Final Girls. It's really good so far. I am so excited to read Final Girls. I actually 
was gonna take it. Okay, so we booked our trip to go to Miami uh, for our anniversary. Miami is like where our end game, where we wanna end up and live. I love Miami. And um, I was gonna take Final Girls with me, but I was at Target today. I, I cannot go into the Target book area. It's so beautiful, isn't it? It's better than a Barnes & Noble. So anyway, they had Truly Madly Guilty by Leanne Moriarty which I read Big Little Lies in Mexico. And I like to read those kind of books when I'm on vacation because they're not real deep. And it was so good. I could not wait for this book to come out in paperback and it was out in paperback. And I was like, here's my Mexico book. But Final Girls is coming in September for me. Nicole Marie said, Haunted was my first Chuck Palahniuk book and it is amazing. I read most of his books one summer. Although his stuff is violent and sexed up, he has the best one-liners. I so agree with that. So insightful and deep. I really enjoy a book that grabs you by the throat and shakes you until it's over. That was too much, sorry, but it's how I feel about his books. Well, they resonate with me. Thank you for exposing me to BookTube. I didn't know this existed, and I'm so pumped to get back into reading all the time. Nicole, thank you so much, honey. Um... So I love Chuck Palahniuk, and this is going to sound strange, but one of my favorite books that he wrote was called Snuff, and it's about a porn actress, and it's her last movie that she's going to do, and so she wants to have sex with over 500 men, right? And that's what the whole background of the book is, this video that they're filming, but there is a background story that is woven through this book that is so interesting, and Chuck, Pal Chuck Palahniuk... Um, you know, I think what he does is he takes the normal human experience and weaves it through kind of like the grotesque or the out there or the edgy into a way that you're forced to look at the normal, if that makes sense. And so it almost isolates normality. And I love his books. I think his books are beautiful. Um, JQ Isabella said, oh, hell no. I hated perfume with a passion. <laughs> People, okay, so I mentioned perfume in two videos, and people either said they absolutely loved that book or they absolutely hated it. So I don't know, <laughs> Isabella, I'm scared now. Um, Denise Rader said on my August book haul, I need that hat. Lime green is my favorite color. So I have this in lime green, I have it in orange, and I'm gonna get it in black. And I washed it in the dishwasher, because that's what everybody told me to do, but it's still dirty. So I'm thinking I'm gonna get another pink one too. But thank you, dear. You can go to the Ultra Music Festival. This is Ultra Music Festival. You can go to their website and you can get them. I think they're 25 bucks. But I'm also coming out with my own Peter Mon merch, baby. So you can buy it on my Peter Mon merch website. Okay. Um, back to my fall. I don't do book TBRs. These are comments. P.S. I love that book. I cannot believe it is almost fall. I guess I will have to make my fall TBR too. Gosh, how fast time goes. I know. It's so sad. All the kids are back in school. At least I can have the pool now to myself. Angel Virtue said, Peter, I love your channel. Before the Fall is a good read, and I agree with you on The Woman in Cabin 10. It was a really bad book, and the main character irritated me. She irritated Was she not the dumbest woman in the face of the earth? Dumbest woman, dumbest man. I don't care. I don't mean that to be sexist whatsoever. She just was an idiot. I mean, she just couldn't figure out things, and they were right in front of her face. I thought, this is a mystery? No, ma'am. I didn't like that book at all. Um, Mom to Triplets 04 said, <laughs> what a cute name. Um, I've tried to listen to Raven Boys, but just couldn't do it. I'm still trying to read it. Happy reading. Um, it's hard, you know? Like, if people tell you that you really don't like this book. So I'm reading Six of Crows right now, and I was, I was really struggling. Now, this book is 15 hours and 40 minutes long, audible, okay? I am down to three hours, and I now, like, I'm just, I'm like at two, min two hours and a half, two and a half hours I have left, and I'm completely obsessed with it. I'm like, oh my god, I don't want it to end. Now, I love it. Now I know all the background stories. Now I, there's love, baby, there's gay characters up in Six of Crows. I was like, oh my god, I love all this. There's gay love story, everything. I'm, well, kind of, but I mean, does that come out in Crooked Kingdom? Because if it does, then I'm going to have to read, I mean, I don't know. I just want to find out what happens to all these people. Now I'm going to have to read the damn sequel. See, I hate cliffhangers. That's why I like standalones. Okay. Charlotte Clementine said, Woman in Cabin 10, <laughs> 10 is just so dumb. The big twist was completely predictable and really who borrows mascara, right? Amen. That, I don't even do makeup. I do makeup reviews on my drama channel. I was like, my mother taught me you never share earrings or ma mascara. That's gross. I'm sorry. But she said gross. Oh my God. She said gross. <laughs> Charlotte. I used to be in all the beauty YouTube stuff and read a few of those forums. Damn, these people have a lot of anger. They'll dig up info about YouTubers' lives to just bitch about it. Freaking crazy. Anyway, added absolute rightness to my list. Thank you for the recommendation. Aww. It's interesting to me that so many people hated The, cabin, the Woman in Cabin 10, and yet it's, I was at Target. It was on the top 10 bestseller list. That is called marketing. And as book readers and as book writers, we should be real book writers. As authors, we should be really pissed 
that we have to work really hard to get a book published or indie publish it or you know self publish it and these books that have good marketers because they have networking because they work for publishing companies rise to the top and they make a fortune it's bullshit and we need to not purchase those books like we need to be more choosy with what we do as consumers of books I really believe that Heather Taylor said, I wouldn't care if you never finish a single book, which isn't true anyway. I would watch you. You are so funny and honest. Heather, thank you, sweetie. Okay, Gaya. Uh, Gaya. Oh, hey, Gaya. She's been around, baby, from video one. I've never heard of a forum where people say such mean things about YouTube channels. How ridiculous. I'm so sorry they discussed you behind your back. That is so mean. I'm a member of a forum that discusses books called the Book Forum. YouTube isn't discussed much, and most of the people on the forum I'm in on are really lovely people. There are only, I'm talking more about like, uh, uh, like uh, gossip guru, guru gossiper and things like that. We hardly talk about YouTube or booktube. I did write a very positive review for your book. Oh, thank you, sweetie. Um, on the forum in my book thread in which I posted about all the books I read. Anyway, I'm so sorry that people were mean to you in another place. That is not done and I would never be, that is, and I would never want to be in such a place. I love you, Peter. You're awesome. And I'm so sorry people were mean to you. I loved Wonder. I hope you enjoy it too. I haven't heard of Lily and the Octopus, but I love the art of racing in the rain. So we'll be very curious to hear from you what you think of Lily and the Octopus once you finished it. Gay, you're so sweet. I love you. Um, Iga Grossa said, I read Perfume years ago and one day it was the book that started my unconditional love for reading. Happy to see this temporary classic in your TBR. Oh my God, thank you. I, I really want to read it, but I'm kind of nervous because it's getting lots of mixed reviews from people. Coley May said, I don't like Cassandra Clare for several reasons. One, her series feels like a recycled version of the other series. I can tell you exactly which, this is what everybody says. I can tell you exactly which characters are alike. I also tend to not like main characters and love interests. She also has to have the bad boy who is bad, but for good reason. I mostly read her books to make fun of them. I do that. I do do that. It's like hate watching videos, you know? Marla Warren said, Final Girls is a good quick read. I really enjoyed it. I cannot wait to read it. Chrissy Books and Berries said, LOL, worst dress list for books. So shouldn't we though? I mean, we should, I'm doing that. At the end of my year, I'm doing a worst dress list for books, baby. Um, I can't read this name, but it said, how old are you? I'm 45 years old, baby, and loving every minute of it. Jay Chersky said, I hated Woman in Cabin 10, worst ever. Another, see? My bookstore book tag, Damien Tarek, Damien, hey! Damien's my new friend. Yes, I always get so excited when my, find, when my fave comes up on booktube videos. The monster calls literally makes me so happy. Or when anything from Patrick Ness comes up, it makes my heart happy. Um... That book wore me out. But I don't know which next Patrick uh, Ness book to read. So could somebody tell me which one I should read next? Okay, my fault. I don't do book TV. We're back to that one again. Are you ready? Um, book ends gave me a heart. I love you too. Uh, Blue Suede Reviews said, I've been dying to read The Devil in the White City. If you want to do a buddy read, just let me know. Yeah, absolutely. Gina Books and Shannon said, Rotten Ruin is one of the best zombie series I've read besides The Walking Dead comics. Hope you like it. So I read book one of The Walking Dead uh, uh, graphic novels, the series or whatever comics, and Rotten Rue and I have heard so many recommendations about. Um, so Shelby Spano said Final Girls was so good. Peter, people always say, why do you shout in your videos? I don't know. <laughs> and Tiny, El Tina, Tiny <laughs> Ellen, Tina Ellen said, I agree, the good girl is too. Okay, I'll check those out. Thank you guys. The Peter Mon book tag. Amanda Joy said, I think it's a lot harder to listen to a complex fantasy like Six of Crows than, you than read the physical copy. Sometimes listening makes it more difficult to understand. I totally agree. I mean, at the beginning of it, and this was also true of um, Colson Whitehead's the Underground Railroad. I had such a hard time following the historical, like how it broke down to get them where they started at the beginning of the book. Six of Crows with the names and who they were was very difficult like that for me. But now I love it. My fall, don't do TBR or back again. Tara Aiken, Wonder was such a great book. I'm excited for the movie this fall. I bought Before the Fall my Kindle months ago and still haven't gotten around to read. Girl, you better read it, okay? Uh, deep in the woods, deep in the woods of Texas. Um, hey there, she always is, always comment. Perfume, Kurt Cobain described it as one of his all-time favorite books and he reread it 10 times. Okay, that is definitely, I'm a diehard Nirvana fan. That is definitely one of the, and a Courtney Love fan, so don't come for me. You can love both. And, um, whole, I miss world. Anyway, um, <laughs> that's one of the reasons, one, not two, that's one of the reasons why I got it. Stace reads a bit. Someone suggested that we read The Woman in Cabin 10 for our book club, and I shot that down real fast thanks to your review of it. 
Well, Ruth Ware, sorry about that one, girl. You could have had a book club reading your book. <laughs> Lexi Wright said, Wonder is a good book. Oh, I hope so. Gwen Castile said, I'm from Indiana. We have the Indiana twang. I was told one time, every one south of Hammond is a southerner, LOL. I live in Westfield. Oh my God, we're like 20 minutes from each other. Gwen, hi. We could do a meet and greet. It would just be you and me. Um, a bibliophobe 27 said, Wonder was really good. It was a middle grade novel. This is 20 hours ago. And you could tell the intended audience was quite young, but I still enjoyed it. The chapters were also quite short, so I was able to read it in a few hours. The Noah Hawley book sounds good. He was another book that sounds good as well, so I'm hoping I can get both of them cheap on Book Outlet or something at some point. My beard is driving me nuts. Uh, Chuck Palahniuk is, a good, but, is good but weird. I liked Fight Club and tried reading something else but couldn't get into it. Do want to read Haunted, though. I have Lily and the Octopus on my Kindle, but I have so many damn books. True story, baby. I believe that Mira Grant is also Shannon, Shannon McGuire, the author who wrote Every Heart a Doorway. I have a few books of hers as well. Oh, that's interesting. I love when people say stuff like that. Um... And then Andre Carbone, Peter, you are awesome. Well, thank you, Andre. JG, hey, J. I love her so much. She's one of my favorite booktubers. I've had Wonder on my shelf for so long and still haven't read it either. A worse dress list for books. J, let's buddy read Wonder together. Okay, let's just randomly pick one more condiment. <laughs> I said condom. <laughs> one more comment out. Uh, one day ago from. Uh, Cami Castile, were you humming Hey Jude at the end? Always. <laughs> hey Jude. All right, you guys, I love you. I made you, if you liked this video, let me know. I made you more where I do personal responses. I might do it like once every two weeks, once a month, something like that. Did you like it? I just feel bad that I don't comment to you guys more often. So I hope this made up for that a little bit. I love you guys so much. It means the world to me that you watch my videos. And um, I will talk to you later. Bye.